Hi, I'm Patty Fryer. I'm one of the co-chief scientists on our drilling crews. Hi, I'm Jeff Wheat. I'm one of two co-chiefs. Uh, we are out here on the glorious blue Pacific Ocean. Uh, right now we just left port and we're heading out to our first site. We are out here in order to study the area where the huge Pacific tectonic plate is diving down into the Earth's mantle, moving underneath the edge of another tectonic plate. Our first site is an old borehole observatory. Some of the measurements that we can make in these borehole observatories are pressure, so we can watch the inflation of the seamount. Uh, we can put hydrophones in to understand earthquakes and uh, movement of these uh, large features. We can tell what the physical conditions are within the subduction zone, and the subduction zones are where the largest earthquakes on the planet take place. We're going to uh, deploy three more of these borehole observatories in three different seamounts, so that we have a transect of seamounts, and these uh, observatories will be places where we can do experiments, places where we can measure changes in composition, also changes in how these seamounts form. It adds a whole new dimension to seafloor drilling. So what we can do with all of that is we can learn the history and what happens when the Pacific plate goes down is all of the sediments and the rocks that have been sitting on the Pacific seafloor for now about 80 million years have been absorbing seawater and the mineralogy is changing and there's a lot of seawater trapped in the rocks. As the plate dives down into the warmer and the higher pressure areas of the subduction zone, all of those fluids start coming out and the plate above it is fractured so there are a lot of cracks and things and this stuff comes up to the seafloor and begins to erupt, building huge mud volcanoes, the largest ones on Earth. What we're going to be learning on this cruise is not only just fundamentally interesting because of the science, but it does have the potential to help us understand situations better, like the formation of tsunamis, like the one in Japan in 2011, and be able to warn people or save lives as we learn more and more about what's happening in subduction zones.